In today's video, I want to share with you guys how to beat Cover 2. Uh, now, this is part of our series here that we've been doing, and it's our Mutt Free Guide. Uh, now, for those of you guys that are new to my YouTube channel, my name's Cody, and uh, basically what I want to do uh, with my channel is I want to try to help you guys get better at Man 16, and not because I'm perfect at it, but just because I really like to teach, and I like to talk about stuff uh, with you guys, and so I hope that these videos do that. What we're doing right now is, like I said, uh, today we're taking a look at Cover 2 Defense, how to beat it, and how to read it, more importantly. Uh, reading the defense, in my opinion, is 90% of beating the defense. If you can get an effective read, you can beat it, okay? So first of all, what is uh, what is cover two? Well, we've got the defense up here for you to look at, but cover two refers to a zone concept at the safety level where both safeties will be re responsible for covering half the field deep. It can be implemented in many ways, and sometimes the corner will pull in a zone concept to the sidelines. Sometimes both corners will play press man. Sometimes one will open up and protect the sideline while the other players press man. But what you're looking for pre-snap is that the safeties are going to basically back up and the corners are going to come up uh, to the line of scrimmage. Now, as we've noted several times, there are several variations of this. This is a very, very basic uh, you know, definition of what a cover two defense is. But what I want to do more importantly today is I really, really want to share with you guys how to read this post-snap uh, in our progression system that we've been kind of presenting you guys with this mutt free guide uh, that progression system being uh, the whole purpose of it is that we basically um, we have uh, peripheral vision and we understand that just from common knowledge about our eyesight and so if I'm looking at a sorry about that guys if I'm if I'm looking at for example let me just use uh, you guys can see this screen here and uh, so I'm going to show you. So I'm, I'm looking at this 2QB contain, but out of the corner of my right eye, I can see the play KC divide. That's what I'm talking about when I say peripheral vision. And so we're basing this entire system off of this. Okay, so, so let's use, uh, we're going to use today the play PA post from the bunch to show you how to beat cover two. Now, there's a reason that we do that. Uh, and the reason is that it's a levels basic concept. And really, that's what you want to use when you're looking at beating cover two. Um, you know, obviously, you you know, you can run the ball, but, you know, what we're looking at is, is passing the football. And, and the biggest key here is to is basically vertical stretching is how you beat cover two because horizontally, um, which would, you know, basically mean the plane of the field is covered well. So let's look at this a little bit more detail here. So, um, so for example, like I said, what we're wanting to do here is we're wanting to stretch the defense vertically, okay? And we're going to create a vertical stretch in three increments. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this triangle receiver here, uh, tight, the tight end, and we're going to place him on a slant pattern. And then we're going to take the running back, uh, Devontae Freeman, and we're going to place him on a streak, and we're going to motion him over to the right. Now, this is the this is a very basic play. We talked about it in the ebook, but this is a really good play for cover two. Now, what I want to show you initially is I want to I'm going to audible to a cover three, and I want you to watch the defense and see if anything changes. So there, I've audible to cover three, and all you see that changes are the safeties back up and the corners back up, and that's pretty much it, right? It's really the only signal you get, and especially if a, if a guy's a really good player, what you'll see them do is they'll press coverage like this out of a cover two. Normally, that's what you'll see, uh, and, and you'll actually see a lot of this too, base aligning and press. If they start doing this, you know that you're facing zone, because uh, if you're going to run man, normally they're going to go uh, triangle R1, triangle down, man align, press, because that's going to give you the best man-to-man -man defense. But in any event, what I really want to cover today is how to read uh, cover to post-snap, what you're wanting to look for. So... Let me uh, quickly, uh, a quicker recap here of peripheral reading. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the left safety, the middle linebacker, and the right safety. As soon as the ball is snapped, those are our key points of emphasis. And uh, what we're going to do 
is once we've diagnosed that information, then we're going to, you know, make the proper read on where, you know, where we have that leverage at. All right, so here we go. We're just going to snap the ball, and I want to show you this. All right, so we hit the back up. We hit that back up field, and I want to show you an instant replay what we're looking at, what we're really looking at here. So this is this is my first um, this is my first read as a quarterback. So imagine I'm Matt Ryan here, and I'm looking, I'm eyeing that safety. Now his and it snap the ball, bam! Now stop it. Now that's the that's that's literally how long I look at that player. I look one second. It's a three second. Boom, 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 boom. It's it's actually it's I would say it's more of a one second snaps, but you're it, it's hard to explain it. But basically, you go left, middle, right, and then go. Okay, so again, it's very hard to explain, but I'm hoping that you're tracking with me. We're looking safety. We get okay, so we get three guys in dropping here. Middle linebacker is our next guy. So when we look at the middle linebacker, you're going to see that I can see if I'm looking just at this middle linebacker, right? I can see every other linebacker dropping into the basic shell, and I can see the vulnerabilities here. So I can I can already tell I'm going to be I have this little underneath drag pattern to Jones. And then we look at this backside safety. And this is going to give us, again, another view here. And so we see, okay, safety's deep. Okay, safety's deep. So on both scenarios, the safety's drop deep. That is the key ingredient that tells me cover two is when both safeties drop straight back. Um, that's, your, that's your kind of key tell that it's probably going to be cover two. Now I want to show you uh, how to beat it. Okay, so left, middle, right. Okay, I see it's cover two. And what you want to do is you want to hit these crossers. Uh, basically, is is what I would like to do, in my opinion, is that you want to hit, you want to hit these these basic crossers as they come over the middle, because what's going to happen is this middle linebacker here is going to stretch vertically deep to cover that deep um, to cover that deep route to Devin Hester. We'll show you how this works. I'll try to force feed this route to Hester. And you see that this see that see how that linebacker drops back over it. And basically what we're saying to do is say left, middle, right, okay, cover two, go to my go to my little route to Julio uh, or go to my little route here to Jones. Now a variant that we can actually work in with this is a zig route to the tight end. What this now does is it's a little bit of a little it's a little bit of an interesting little thing. But basically, it allows you to start hitting the back out of the backfield and certain things like that. But in a nutshell, guys, what I want to get at, what I really wanted to get across here, is how to read those cover two. Because what you're going to see here is it, when I'm looking left, okay, safety just drop and bam, I know now that's what they're doing. Okay, so I'm I'm really trying to to get you to get this principle because it's it's really essential for what we're going to be doing going forward. Another way that you could attack this real quickly is again the vertical stretch is really the key here. So if we just streak Jacob Tammy up, he's going to clear out um, some lanes for the rest of the guys. So we'll show you this here: left, middle, boom, boom. And I can, you know, I can maybe fit that into Hester if I wanted to, to if I wanted to really try a user catch. The other thing I could do though is that I could. Just hit, again, you can hit these crossers, um, but you can also hit the back out of the back foot on a little curl. Uh, as you can see, because they're they're stretching, they're taking deep leverage. And most teams will play deep to shallow, especially the good ones. But what you'll see is that occasionally they will drop down. And when they drop down, this is where things can get really interesting for you as an offense. This is why it's important to be able to have this play, because when they drop down, I can now hit... Devin Hester over the middle. Okay, so I know that was kind of a long-winded answer to you guys, and there's a lot more to be said about this, but at the core, there's two keys to beating cover two. The first one is running the football, right? I mean, when the safeties are dropping back, there's no safeties coming down in the box, and you're going to be able to have a field day running the ball against it. The second uh, key 
is to vertically stretch the defense. So, for example, a play like four verticals um, is a very good play for facing the cover two. Uh, the reason why is because it's a ver it, it, it attacks the defense vertically. And so what you'll see here is I have all these lanes to now throw the ball into. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if it was not and how I can improve. But uh, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch my video. And if you enjoyed it, uh, you can check out that Mutt Free Guide for free. Uh, and uh, at my YouTube channel, you do that by subscribing. And there's a whole playlist of all the videos that has specific play breakdowns, roster breakdowns. We're going to get into uh, some gameplay. Uh, we're doing this reading series right now because I think it's, it's a really important thing to do when we're coming.